In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate high priority costs and DSCP values by using Osteonado. I've got Osteonado connected to two switches as well as to the cloud. But for this demonstration, I'm simply going to use one of the links connected to switch one. So I'm going to start Osteonado and select Ethernet one. I've got a previous stream here, which I'll delete. And what we'll do here is create a new stream called QoS or Quas. I'll double click on the cog. And let's start with 802.1Q. So what I'll do is create an IP packet that's UDP. Under the protocol data, I'll set the destination MAC address as one. Source MAC address will be two. We can specify a VLAN number here if we want to. Let's specify VLAN 100. And let's assume that that's the voice VLAN, but notice under priority, I can specify five. So that will allow us to set the costs of frames that are generated. We're not going to set variable fields. Under stream control, I'll send a hundred packets. So source MAC will be one, destination will be two, VLAN will be 100, priority will be five. We haven't got any source and destination IP addresses configured in this example. I'm going to click OK. Click Apply, select port 00, which is Ethernet 1, and click Play. Frames are now being generated. And I'll start capturing traffic on the link. And as you can see here, we've got traffic from source IP address 0 to destination IP address 0. And we've got an 802.1Q header with a priority or cost of value set to 5. So we are telling the network that this traffic is important. Notice Wireshark says video, less than 100 milliseconds latency and jitter. I'll stop Osteonado, double click on the cog, go to protocol data, select a VLAN. Let's set it to six and click OK, click apply, click play. Back in Wireshark, we see a value of six. Notice it says priority voice. Less than 10 milliseconds latency and jitter. So cos value is six, whereas previously the cos value was five. So again, it was five, now it's six. Back in Osteonado, I'll stop the frame generation, double click on the cog, and let's do one more, seven. So we are basically gonna say that our traffic is extremely important. Click play to start generating frames. And now notice we've got cost value of seven, priority network control. I'll stop the traffic generation. It's as simple as that to set cost values in Osteonado. Now let's configure the DSCP. Now notice the DSCP value or TOS field is shown as hexadecimal values, zero, zero. In Wireshark, when we look at the IP header, the DSCP field is six bits. Explicit congestion notification is two bits. In DSCP, we're only gonna set the most significant six bits, but those six bits are part of the type of service field. So it's actually eight bits in size. So if we wanna set a value of EF, that's what it looks like in binary, and that's what it looks like in decimal. In hexadecimal, that value equates to 2E. But when we set it up in Osteonado, we have to specify eight bits. So it's actually B8. We have to take the full eight bits into account. So I'll copy B8. 
and I'll set the type of service field to B8 and click OK, click Apply and I'll generate the frames. So scrolling down, notice the differentiated services field or DSCP shows as B8, but DSCP is set to expedited forwarding or 46. Explicit congestion notification is set to zero. So be careful. For CCNA as an example, or for the real world, a DSCP of EF or expedited forwarding, value 46 in decimal is actually B8 in hexadecimal because we have to take into account six bits plus two bits. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.